Hello, and welcome back to Crestfallen D&D, The Baker's Dozen. Um, this will be episode seven, and we'll come up with the title later. Um, uh, great. Uh, um, we, uh, we're still waiting for a couple players to um, to pop in, because, oh, you know, you know things happen, that's okay. Um, but in the meantime, let's, uh, let's do the intro of those that are here. We have um, Noelle. Hi, I'm Noelle, and I play Micheni Ankmut, the Canberran Ranger. And, you know, let's put the petal to the metal today. Oh, good God. <laughs> oh, man. I'm proud yet so ashamed. Um, uh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great. Uh, then we have Cameron. Hi, I play Scoop Crinkle. I play a fearful cleric of the Tempest. Uh, eat your vegetable before they eat you. Because, you know, <laughs> Wonder fighting plants. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I try. <laughs> uh, great. And uh, then we have uh, Angela, who's eating shrimp. <laughs> yes, I'm Nakano, and um, whoever we're gonna about to take up in battle, they're gonna become stir fry. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> very, very. <laughs> topical at the moment since you're eating stir fry. <laughs> very very topical perfect uh fantastic okay so then what we'll do now is um uh we just have a couple bots throw thrown in the spots just to take some places and then as soon as somebody else uh pops on well i'll i'll fade them in no big deal um cool so but uh in the meantime let's do a recap of what happened last time pardon my very fast uh um a broker's voice or whatever you call it uh, auctioneer's voice as I try to get this fit into what we're doing but here we go all right let's get so last episode I believe was what well, was the whole session so I recap the whole like past two episodes um, but it should be uh, episode five and six uh, so great let's do that it up get my music started while a scoop is occupied with groupies tamron sets up a performance at autumn breeze's estate for a sizable sum noticing him exhibiting some odd behavior phoenix struggles with her sobriety but is aided by her companions while machene gets caught tailing hannah slash henton opi back towards the saltwatch pagoda tamron mocks bars of pebbles in a flowing river while machene gains the animosity of the nervous kitsune eventually the party meet back up to head and head to the pond bringer where the bakers doesn't discuss the role of pebbles as zushi's ward trishani attempts to teach pebbles some basic woodcraft as tamron retrieves the rest of the crew from the barrel of monkeys the silvered haired many-tailed fox is spotted on the rooftops across the pier watching the party before they set down to rest for the the evening um for the evening as a prank goes awry the next morning the 37th the gang head to the salt watch pagoda to restore hertz age hannah gives machete the stink eye as zen kudalon returns years to hertz form swinging by red and bread many delicious confections are collected in order to feed the beast the Baker's Dozen make their way to the estate of autumn breeze on a chilly night noticing that it seems to be in a state of disrepair after being invited in by service members and greeted by Autumn Breeze, the party notice the same odd, twitchy behavior from everyone here. A scoop spots an altercation occurring in the upper story between Jin Fushi and a twitching service member. Dashing across the courtyard to contain the threat with magic, becoming surrounded by twitching housekeepers who have roots protruding out of their faces reaching up towards the rain-filled sky, the gang rush to assist. Autumn Breeze, blocking their way out, says that they are out of time. And welcome to the garden before bursting into a massive tangle of vines flowers and corpses a startlingly large sakura flower blossoms up from atop a deadly plant and lightning streaks and thunder rolls across the sky welcome back to crest Valen. Jay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is everyone's jam. Yeah. I just. All right, so we're gonna go right into combat, guys. Throw on some combat music. Let's do it. Um. Yeah. Okay. So, everybody, please roll for initiative. I'm gonna roll Tamron's initiative. Bum 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 bum. bum. Yeah. Pardon me. Oh. 
Okay. I believe I have Tamarin's stat block up here too. So, uh, so I'll be running Tamarin for probably just the first round of combat, and then we'll be all set. Uh, he got a a nine on his initiative. Not bad, Tammy. It's not what? for him. Well, for him, he's. Oh. Uh, he had a 19 last like he, round. Yeah, I feel like he usually gets like a two, though. So, you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Machete, what what did you get for initiative? Fifteen. 15, 15, nice number. Uh, um, I guess I'll roll for Phoenix. Ooh, nat one for Phoenix. Oh no. Uh, but I know wow. her, I think she has a 18 for Dex, so that's plus four, so that's good for five. Okay. Uh, that's all right. Nakano, what'd you get out. for initiative? I got uh, 13. 13, awesome. Okay, and then we're gonna do Hurt. Can't forget Hurt. I already did everyone else's initiative ahead of time to save us a little time. Oh. And Hurt's not old anymore, so she She's might not. be more spry. Maybe. <laughs> we don't Apparently, know. she got a uh, a 20 for initiative. Oh, wow. Maybe. Here we go. Short my life. Small. So up first, unfortunately, is this massive motherfucker right here, what Autumn Breeze just turned into. This thing, let's pull this down to unblur what's going on here. This thing here, what we got going on. Uh, it's great. scary. It's not colored, but that's okay because I imported the STL model, but that's all right. Um, great, so that thing's gonna go first. You see the vines kind of like whipping about and hoisting this thing up in the air. There appear to be like corpses and half like torn apart and devoured, uh, uh, like vivisected Wait. torsos and legs just hanging from it. And every once in a while you see among the twisted tangled mass of vines, there's like skulls or like a, a, a emaciated faces with skin stretched across their, their skeletal structure. Um, there is a massive sacro flower atop uh, the 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 uh, this massive tangled, and there's a bunch of buds around the flowers that have yet to open up. Um, okay, so it is its turn. Can you? I'm sorry. Can you just show us like the rest of the map really quickly? Absolutely, so see, absolutely. So you guys really are here. Um, this is the courtyard. This is the the estate the manor you can see um the front end is like okay uh as far as you know stuff is concerned but the you can see that the back is in quite disrepair which is what oh, you guys man. noticed um and uh you were at first it's it's also dim light right since it's raining um it, no it's not dim light it's it's bright light it's just it's it, the, the sun is in the sky but it's still raining it's one of those it's not dim. Um, it's, it's not raining too. It is. It is. It. It. There are clouds in the sky. Yeah, yeah there, I know. There are. There are storm clouds in the sky, but it's one of those like still sunny yet still raining type deals. Okay. Um, okay. Yes. Okay. And this was the the hall, like the banquet hall that you entered, and Autumn Breeze was over here near the fireplace. Uh, for okay. you that can't see, over here near the fireplace, and uh, and then he kind of came out here and ran across the side door and and came over here and transformed into this thing um you guys went around here through this door out here and into the courtyard here where you ran where scoop is in the lead over here looking through this window whoops all right my looking through this looking through this window right here and seeing through this crevasse right here, if you can get a better eye look, DSC, there you go. Um, so they look it through this window and they saw Jin Fushi uh, with the, uh, with holding a candle um, that appears to be uh, being assaulted by this odd, twitchy uh, housekeeper um, that uh, whose form is vines are starting to burst out of. I believe you ran across a scoop and you cast a whole person and this person is held. Or, or mm -hmm. this humanoid is held for the yeah. for the moment, so that's cool. That's fine. Um, 
Um, you also see Scoop with your passive perception moving. You also see another headed in from the other room over here. Um, and now you're moving across. You also, as you start to get surrounded and swarmed by these things, they're being alerted by the order. One of them starts to come down the stairs. There's about two over here that are co- that followed you out from the inner workings of this building, this, this side of this building. There are three over here and four in a doorway that are headed towards you. These look a lot like the the ones that you had saw flowers bursting out of their ocular cavities um, mm-hmm. that you had seen on top on of the that, island or the on the island on the floating like sakura tree that that had created its own floating island out of the tangles of roots and corpses. Um, so you know what they can do. They can grab you, can hit you, grab you, pull you closer, and spray you with blossoms, which is not a great thing. Um, cool. Um, there are, just so you guys are aware of like the makeout, this is a makeup of this building. There's a doorway here that goes on the interior. There's a stairwell here that goes up to the second floor interior. And there is a doorway here that goes in again into the first floor interior on like the south side. We'll call, yeah, well, well, well we, actually we got a, we got a, we got a map here. So well, this is the west side. This is the east side. Okay. This is the south side. And the exit is via the north side, which is being kind of like, you know, blocked by this thing. Um, any other questions? Right. Um, here is here are, are your collections. A scoop is here. Phoenix is here. We've got Tamron here. Ray, Ray's here. Ray's here. Take okay, cool. Yep, yep, yep. Let me take off. Bada ba bum bum bum. There we go. Uh, great. Ray's back. Great. Uh, we've got. Whoops. Pardon me. Um, so we've got. Are these squares still five inch? These are, these are, this is, this is like, see, I don't know if you can see the little dotted lines, but each of these squares is is like a 10 by 10. Um, Okay, cool. uh, Because when you get into here, you can see, you can see each of these squares is like, you know, five by five. It's a two by two. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, it's two by two, um, 10 feet by 10 feet. So yeah, this is Hurt here. We've got Machene here. Um, this right here, this is uh, Pebbles and a Flowing Ritter and Omad Bahati. Uh, and uh, I don't know why her name's Cultist, Cultist, Cultist. Uh, I will change your names. <laughs> uh, uh, it's because I transformed you from a Cultist. Let's make you Nakano, rename. <laughs> we're, got, we're gonna do it live, guys, doing it live. Um, yes. Uh, Micheni, no problem. Easy, easy fixes, guys. Mm-hmm. And there are still other ways out of the complex, though. Uh, let's we take a look. Go through the doors. Um, like, I'm just trying uh, to think well, of a back. Well, uh, I understand. Unfortunately, you've flowers. never been here before, so you don't know. You'd have to explore. Okay, that makes sense. Um. Okay, that should be it. Uh, everybody has their name. Look at that. Bum, bum, bum. Great. Uh, the Pebbles kind of lag behind. Pebbles and Omad kind of lag behind because they've been told to follow you, not like, you know, and all that jazz. So they are, whoop, we got a little bit of a problem here with the Discord. Pardon me. Let's, uh, oh, um, Marie left. Oh. We will, hold on, let me. What happened with Marie? We'll figure it out. Wait, oh, wait, now she's back. <laughs> Pardon me, guys. We are figuring this out. Um, Here we go. Okay. So, uh, that is the the thing going on there. Um, so, it is this massive tangled mass of vines, roots, and flowers that is up here. That's going to go first. Great. Uh, fortunately, it's not very fast. Um, bum, bum, bum. Uh, it is going to as um, bum, bum, bum. right. It contains this many. Little sticky note. Okay, that's good. Not so good for you. Good for me. Five. All right. Um, 
Um, do, 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 do. Okay, it's going to use a bonus action to animate a corpse that's within it. Hmm. Uh, and drop it on the ground beside it. What's the critical rating for this? It's called challenge rating, and I don't do this. Oh, what, uh, well, I, I have uh, Destroy Undead. Oh, I understand. Um, that's something you're just going to have to try, and you'll, you'll see if it works. There's okay. no way that you'd be able to discern a, ch a, a meta challenge rating from a creature. You're just going to have to try. Okay. Um, uh, great. Is that an action or a... What is that? I don't know, because it doesn't really have a description. It is part of your channel divinity. Um, you can you can do uh, turn undead or destroy undead, depending on your cleric level. And it is part of your channel divinity. I believe it is an action. Um, uh, let's find out. Let's look it up. That's the only thing. Is a is a channel divinity. I'll turn them down. Okay, I understand. Um, bum. You must use it. You must finish a short or long rest before you use your channel divinity again. Ba, ba, ba. Turn on as an action. You can present your holy symbol. Yeah, so it's an action. Um, uh, eat, cut, uh, you present your holy symbol and speak a prayer of censoring the undead. Each undead you, that you can see or hear within thirty feet of you must make a wisdom saving throw. If the creature fails its saving throw, it is turned for one minute or until it takes any damage. Uh, you also now have it upgraded to destroy undead, which is starting at fifth level. When an undead of CR one half or lower fails its saving throw against your turn undead feature, the creature is instantly destroyed. Um, there you go. But you would have no way of knowing what there. So as a bonus action, it does that. It drops a corpse. Uh, onto the ground, it gets up, uh, and then as an action, it is going to. Ooh, I don't know if it can. Uh, it's going to move. Boom. Ten feet. Fifteen feet. Twenty feet. And it can't get any closer than that. It's just kind of uses his vines like spider limbs to move itself across the floor the ground uh that's uh it is going to hold an action however um and that is its turn up next uh marie do you have your video up uh yes let's get your video up and then up next is hurt hurts over here um hurt looks at you scoop and says what do you want to do do we run for it? Uh, range attacks, you know, you know what to do. Uh, I don't know, I don't want to run. We gotta ah, save I'll throw the daggers at it! <laughs> uh, uh, we can run to Jin Fushi and save her, I guess. That's really far away! I'll cover you! And she, um, she's going to bonus action rage. <laughs> And then she's going to uh, throw a dagger at this boy over here. At it is Blossom Reborn number eight. Oh, that's a hit. Woo, that's a nice hit. Um, there we go. Yep, that's going to hit. She's going to do her damage. Nice. Okay, that's max damage. She's going to do it again. That's a hit again. Another max damage. Fantastic. So that's 16 points of damage to this thing. Nice job, Hurt. There's two daggers. Just go into its collarbone and into its like where its kidney would be all the way through its rib cage and nearly hanging out the back and it just as the blossoms start to open up on its eyes uh that is hurt's turn Micheni, it's your turn 
There, now we can see. All right. What's great? <clears throat> I uh, look over what to Nakano. My, wait, what did my shiny get as a... Um, she got a 15. Oh, I got 17. Oh, I have you in his four. I'm sorry. Hold on, I'm in his four. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> did I say four? I don't remember saying four. It's okay. Um, right, you're, then you're up next, and then Michelle. Yep. Okay. Where am I? You are right here. Right here, this is you. Looking at a scoop. <laughs> um. <laughs> there we go. There he is. Look at that beautiful, beautiful face. Look at that beautiful face. I do. Man, I, we're already aggressive. So, so you um... can see, you can see through the window, Jin Fushi up here, and you can see through this like broken area of the wall, this guy, and this guy. You also can see up the stairwell, this guy. And if just if you're curious. I should be exactly 60. Yeah, you should. You should be exactly 60 feet. I'm not sure how to... Yeah. (laughs) It's weird. Whoa. Okay. Had my finger (laughs) on the wrong button. There. Yeah, yeah. Yep. 12. 60 feet. Yep. Okay. Um... Can I go to... I want to go... Directly in the shadow of the. What is that? Um, the south by the south wall. Okay, you want to go way, this way? South as much south as much as possible first. Boom into uh, the water here, the puddle. That's five, yes. ten, fifteen, twenty feet there. Okay, and uh, move me west as much as possible too. Okay, 25, 30. Can you do one more since it's a, I get one diagonal? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Yes, there you go. I'm going to do uh, Call Lightning, level 3. Okay. Um, <laughs> up, you obviously won't be able to get the creatures that are indoors because there's a roof I'm, I'm, Yeah, I'm aware, I'm aware. Okay, okay. Uh, you're going to uh, do Call yes. Lightning at your location? No, uh, on the big dude. Okay, hovering over the big dude. What is the radius of that? It's the okay. radius is uh, sixty feet. So it's not like it, is it's that the our, range say, or the radius? Oh, uh, the the range is one hundred twenty feet, and the uh, the radius is a uh, sixty feet. Uh, uh, is it radius cylinder. or diameter for for the for the cylinder? Radius. Okay, so and it's a hundred and twenty foot diameter cylinder. Wow. Okay, so we're talking. If you center it on this guy, um, no, can I just do it like where exactly where I am? Honestly, you want to have it centered above where you are? Okay. Um, yeah, okay, so well. if it is sixty foot radius, that means twelve tiles. You're gonna get nearly everybody in the combat within. That's the that's the area of effect of call light. Yeah, so you just, can hit anybody yeah. within that. So just uh, then one spot to the north is the center point of of me sorry um, oh, okay yeah, you want to make it here so that you can get everybody i am sorry it's a little yep it's a little yep bit, uh, yeah. sure yeah absolutely yeah, yeah, you yeah. can you should be able to have then yeah everybody that you can see uh, other than the ones inside will be within range of the spell yeah amazing and um i do call uh, call lightning in between the big guy and the um the small dude the got one it. Just popped out right here because it affects every creature within five feet of it. You got it. Yes. Um, they need to roll dexterity saving throws, correct? Fifteen. Oh uh, no. Uh, con- oh, sorry. Uh, what is it? Yeah, dex saves. Dex saves. Okay. Uh, that is a failure for the big tangled mass. And it's, that um, is a. Let me just double check here. That is a twelve, or I'm sorry, a ten for the other. Yeah. Two. So they both uh, fail. Also. Uh, also, a channel, channel divinity, and since there's lightning going on, and it's, there's a it does an extra underneath. die of damage. Yep. And uh, so I do forty damage. Forty fucking damage. 
Holy yeah. shit. So not only do does do this clouds start to and rolling thunder, the rolling thunder you just start to enhance upon and pull it, and it's almost like a sheet just gets pulled across the sky, like Apollo pulled the night across the sun, or the sun and the day across the uh, other night, and or I might be getting my gods wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's right. And uh, this cyclone starts in the sky, just this like small opening or this iris opening up in the clouds and this massive lightning bolt comes down right here between these dudes. This guy is gone. He's completely gone. The Once the flash dissipates and you look back, there's just a pile of ash there. He's completely gone. Um, and you, uh, it, this, the lightning then arcs off and strikes to one of the budded flowers and just grounds it to the ground. And so you see it actually, the electricity pass through it and then go in through the ground. And it goes like, and you see all these tangled vines go. It is hurt, but it is still up. Nice fucking move. And because it. it's con, sorry. Oh, sorry. But oh, you go, you go. It is because it's concentration, right? So the whole person would fade. Right? Yeah, so yes. whole person is gone. Okay. Uh, concentration of whole person drops. Let's change this dude's color. Back to nothing. There we go. That's how we keep track. Helps me. Okay. Um, anything else, Scoop? That is your movement. And your action, you still have a bonus action if you'd like. I just scream, come get me. Oh, you're trying to taunt the corpse flower? Yeah, well, oh. every, everyone. Okay, go ahead and roll an intimidation check for me. Might as well. Intimidation. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. This is the one. 16? 16, not bad. Um, These things appear yeah. to be attracted by sound and just by, like, you know, heat and just everything i mean if you're moving and sound they're zombies uh they're like but they're not zombies they're not actually undead they're more plants they're just like animated corpses uh because they have plants living inside of them uh uh so cool um so this thing comes uh yeah so you get quite a bit the attention of most of these things uh only time will tell when it is their turn what it is that they do okay um, a scoop, you're done. Machene, you're up. Nakano, you're on deck. Cool, cool. Um, so first I'll... I'll turn to Nakano and, and say, you know, the thing I wanted to tell as I'm putting on the filtration mask, that prototype that we had gotten a while back for underwater stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm putting that on, and as I'm doing that, I'm saying... You know, the thing I wanted to tell you that last night, Nakano, that the uh, Henton is quite a foxy lady. I wink at her, and I put on the um, the mask, and then I will, as a bonus action, cast Hunter's Mark on the big flower guy, or the who once was Pebbles, or uh, Autumn Breeze. Okay, you and, got it. And then I will take two chakram shots at at it. Um, does a 17 hit? A 17, I believe, does hit. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty slow moving and it is big, so it's not very hard to hit. Okay. Yay. Great. Um, so that is... Uh, nine points of slash slashing damage. You got it. Second attack. You, you, you. I'm sorry. You what came up to it? No, 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 no. I'm. I'm. You do your shock from from. Like, you stay where you are. You didn't move. I understand. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. So uh, you second one. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm assuming that's within sixty feet of me. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Just yeah, double it's, check. It's, it. it's, it's honestly, it's only 30 feet away. Great. Um, <laughs> uh, ne next one is a uh, 19 to hit. So that will. Yep. That one hits too. So just tell me your total damage for the turn when you've got it all added up. Well, yeah. I mean, I just got another eight. So 16 for, total. No, another, another nine. So 17 total then. 
18 total, I 18 think. 18 total, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Um, and, and I'll kind of motion over to, like, because I can't say anything more, I'll just kind of motion for Pebbles and Omad to start following me or, like, get back behind. It has Hunter's Mark on it, correct? That's what you did? Yes. Got mm-hmm. it. I'm just making sure I have color and space. Yep. Okay. Um, you're going to tell Omad, this, so this is... This is Omad and Pebbles. Um, they uh, they load are on the bottom of initiative. So, okay. um, but you gonna you, where where are you telling them to go as you're directing them? Because they're like, kind of like follow, a panicked. Like follow me, get be- behind me. You got I'm it. Just kind of motioning, um, and it. then I will kind of run. Uh, if you turn it the other way, so that yes. we're facing. Sorry. It's okay. Um kind of between where I guess that's Phoenix this is Phoenix yeah between where Phoenix and Hurt it are and so I'll okay. then kind of facing the, the other two plant dudes you got it it's hard to do facing but yes yeah I suppose I could do this cool Oop, there and you that's... go now you're facing them alright awesome. you got it um, so you're oh, pretty much telling different. Omad and um, and uh, Pebbles to kind of get in the middle of the circle Right. Got it. Cool. Cool. And that's my turn. Okay, that's your turn. Uh, up next, then we have Nakano, and then Tamron's on deck. I'm gonna do a uh, cast web spell onto this uh, feature. Oh wow! Oh, nice. Yeah, Spider Gwen <laughs> web spell. Spider Gwen. Spider Gwen. Yeah, uh, you got it. Was Super that cool. With my lightning. Um. So right, it has to roll. Um. Yeah. Read the spell out loud for me. Um, the web spell? Yep, the web spell. Hold on. That's okay. Um, Just so I know also, what save it has to make. Yeah, Phoenix, sure. Phoenix, um, this is range attacks only. For everything. You don't want to get close to them. To, it has to um, roll my spell save. DC is 14, so right. if, it, if it rolls anything, um, you know... Higher than that, then it's no longer restrained. Right. Um, so uh, the webs aren't anchored to solid masses, just blah, 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 layers on a floor. Um, each creature that starts its turn in the web or that enters them during its turn makes a dexterity saving throw. So it's going to make a dexterity saving throw at the beginning of its turn. So no throws are being done right now. Um, it is a 20 foot cube from the point for the duration. Um, it is it is concentration. So when you if you get hit, you're going to have to roll or it's going to dis- dis- your concentration checks. Um, Cool. Awesome. So I don't know if I have marked areas where I can do it, but I do believe. Where is that? I have a toggle rulers. 20. 20 foot. Okay, so let's do cut box. Here we go. Oh, wait, no, no, no. That's not it. Let's not do cut box. Whoop! Okay, so you want to center it on this, is, is, is what you're telling me, right? Right. Okay, so that's 10, and that's 20. 20 foot, so we're talking... This much. That's where the web is. Sound yeah. good? Yep. Great, cool. I will remember that. Um, cool, all right. So it, nothing happens now, but that spot is covered in webbing. Um, I might okay. be able to... Let's see if I can... Put some debris there to make it look like it's stuff. What if I had a web button? You're you're in the. Yes, I know what I'm in. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> there we go. Hey, look at that stuff. We've got web. Oh, nice. Oops. Nice job, Tailspire. Good cool. job. Okay, Thanks. cool. So we can put that there. There, yep. there, and there. Look at that. Ah, oh, that's so gnarly. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, get fucked. Uh, all right, cool. Cool. So at the start of its turn, it's going to roll its stuff. So nothing happens now. So that's your action. Right. Oh, you still have a bonus action and your movement. I'm going to move away from this thing. Okay, <laughs> where would you like to go? Probably going to be mad at me. Um, let's go towards those steps. Um, okay. 5, as 10, as 15, 20, 25, 30. If you'd like to, you can use your bonus action to dash as well. 
Yeah, I want to dash. <laughs> okay, you want to go up the stairs? Yes. Okay, so that'll be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. As you dash past, past a scoop. Just so you know, you do have spider climb be with your spider legs. Do you just want to go straight up the wall? Or yeah, do you want to climb up why the stairs? I... Yeah, there's a yeah. green guy there. Why should I go past him? Okay, so you could just <laughs> climb up the fucking wall. Uh, I, I started going up the steps, and then I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, I can't um, seem to get Fly Toggle to work. And let's see. <laughs> That's okay. Um, it's okay. You go up the wall. <laughs> Uh, we'll say you move 30, actually, you move 30 feet up the wall, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. You make it into the fucking room. You make, you're right here. Wow. Oh, uh, crap. There you are. Yeah, you're right there. Nice. Mm. Nice. Fuck yeah. You're in danger. I'm, gonna I'm in danger. For a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, cool. So, um... That's your bonus action movement and your action. That's the end of your turn then. Uh, up next is uh, Tamron. So Tamron. Tamron is going to, as he's directed me to. Uh, mage armor. Yes, he's going to cast <laughs> mage armor as his action. Uh, <laughs> so he casts mage armor on himself. He does one of these little uh, emotes. Where is the... Uh... There it is. Wiggle. And he casts mage armor. Um, I like that. Let's do that one more time. Wiggle. Great. <laughs> uh, first. Okay, he's going to cast mage armor. That's a first Wild level magic. spell that he cast. Yes, he's going to have to roll his wild magic. Do you know his... Um, yes, his wild magic, I believe, is at four. Um, mm -hmm. At least, let me just double check. Mild magic search is at three, so here we go. That's a three. Mm. Oh boy, here we go. Wild magic. Woo. Turn into a plant. Turn into uh, a plant. <laughs> I mean, it kind of is useful, right? Like the plant. You're not gonna believe be this. Effective. You, you see, as Tamron vanishes. No, as Tamron just uh, disappears in a puff of smoke. Okay. And in his place. His webs. <laughs> really? Really? Is a potted plant. <laughs> I shit you not. <gasps> <laughs> is a beautifully it's just a beautiful pot now that's a pot of gold it's fine we'll just use the tagine yeah it looks like a plant. it looks enough like a plant so he's a potted plant <laughs> he chats way jar and becomes a potted plant um while a plant you are incapacitated and have vulnerability to all damage if you drop to zero hit points the pot your pot breaks and your form reverts Wonderful. Cool. Um, How long, though? Uh, Six seconds? Until right. the start of your next turn. Oh, okay. It's not too bad. Fan Actually, not fantastic. Bad. <laughs> this is Tamron. He's technically in disguise. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah. Man, nobody wants to kill him. He's just a fucking pot. <laughs> uh, great. Is he a snapdragon? Uh, sh oh, that's funny. Uh, right, because he's Dragonborn. Ha ha ha, you're so funny. Um, great, Phoenix. It's your turn. You hear the sound of these corpses, but like, uh, they're not quite corpses. Almost as it sounds like there's still like fluid in their lungs and, and fluid throughout, and the plants have just like taken them over. You hear that... sound where it sounds like there's fluid in the lungs and someone's like drowning on something and you have like a, a flashback and you're brought back to the moment where you witnessed your lung from her back 
right through her rib cage, and the and the arrowhead sticking out her front. As blood starts to drench her dress, and see her cough up blood and fall to the ground on her knees as she's choking on her own blood and drowning in it. And you're still as the sound has brought you back to that moment completely. And you see the blood starting to spread across the stonework and the ever attempts at swallowing and gasping for air and gurgles as the others, the, the Zephyr Guard, just stand there looking at each other being like, I won't report this if you won't report this. What's going through Phoenix's head? Um, she's overwhelmed. Angry. A little frustrated. Triggered. All those emotions. As you're having this flashback and you're trying to reconcile these feelings and, and, and you like you're, you don't feel present in the moment you don't feel physical in your own body like the, what, this must be a dream these things aren't happening uh, please roll on your trigger for your sobriety die please please roll your sobriety die It's uh, die two, right? I'm it's sorry? D6. D6. It should be a D6. D6. Uh, it's either a D8 or a D6. I believe it's D6 from last session. Okay. Because I know she went down one because she got triggered. I'll just do it on my laptop. Also, while she was away, I'm repeating myself. I told her to do range attacks only. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that's a Phoenix. Ten. Ten. Wait, what are you... A ten and a D six. That doesn't make any sense. It's either. One, no, I think I two. added something by accident. What, what is it? Yeah, just roll. Die? Roll a regular cube. Just roll a cube. Okay. You don't have to do it digitally. Just roll the cube. Okay. What's the number? Three. Three. Okay, so you're okay. This is this is a lot for you. Um, you are not on the verge of a of a relapse, but uh, and but you are like you think about it for a moment and like the flashback, and then it continues kind of like sh 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 as the scene shudders as you see your father kind of like walk up to him drunk as a skunk, the body of your mother. Grab the coin purse from from her the side of her uh, her belt and stammer back inside. But you push through it, and you say like, "That's not where I am right now. I have people that are depending on me right now. I'm not sure if I can keep doing this, but I have to dig deep." deep and focus on my training. You instinctively reach to your side for the gourd that is not there. And then you have a moment of like, of course, of course it's not there. Your fist clenches, your arms go up, and you enter a fighting stance. You're now back in reality. Real stuff is happening. It's your turn. What do you do? Uh, I go close to those green things. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> um, you did get a warning from a scoop not to go near them because you remember the oh. last time. Remember the last time you fought them. That when you get close to them, you can become under the sway of the spores. He also okay. did say save Jin Fushi as well. Okay. 
to her. <laughs> Where should I go? Um. Show her, show her the whole map. Uh, yes. One she minute. wasn't around. So we're, we're trying to go up the stairs right now. To get uh, to Jin Fushi. Jin Fushi is, is in here. That. It's uh, that little light. It's that little light on the carpet in the middle. How do I get under? I that? can't really see that. My screen is all black. Screen is the all entire... black? No, the entire screen is black. Like, I can't see anything. But, you can't but, see that you can't view the stream on Discord? No. Mm -mm. Weird. Okay, can you see? You can't see any. You can't see us at all. No, I could hear you, but I can't see. Oh. Now I can't even see myself. So. Huh. Odd. Well, that um, is... there is a floor up, up on the up on the top that has Jin Fushi through through like a broken part of the wall and the window, and then there mm -hmm. is what appears to be a plant zombie that is about like 10, 15 feet away from her. A scoop. Um, uh, a scoop has attempted to start running up the stairs uh, to get to a room that is next to it that has a door uh, that they can enter in through and then go around, possibly get to that get to that room. Whereas Nakano has just skittered up the wall, walked through the dilapidated wall, and is only uh, is mere feet away from uh, one of these creatures that is harrying Jin Fushi, who's holding a candle. Um, uh, so that's what that is. Um, you are down in the middle of the courtyard. You can see, whoops, you can see Nakano up here. Uh, and you can see a scoop going up there, and you can also see uh, the, the doors on either side of the courtyard. Um, you are near this, uh, nearest to the eastern uh, archway that enters the courtyard, in which two blossomed reborn or plant zombies uh, have been have uh, become quite quite close to. They're about um, twenty five to twenty feet away from you, um, and you know not to get close to these things. But you also know that you got a. Uh, defend people and take care of stuff. So, where is it that you'd like to go? Um, I know she's not supposed to go near them. I, I'll just be impulsive and go near them anyway. Okay, cool, awesome. <laughs> uh, great. So, which one did you would you like to go to? The one that is closest to you, or the one that is like five feet farthest away? Uh, closest to me. Okay, so we can get you five, ten, fifteen, or oh, fifteen. 20, 25. So we can get you right there. Okay. So when you do get close to it, however, because this is how this works, um, I need you to roll a wisdom saving throw. Okay. As the, um, it is kind of like surrounded by the pollen of the, of this, uh, these sakura petals. Okay. So you roll d20 and add your wisdom saving throw modifier. Uh, 23. 23. You're good. You're like, I've had enough. And you push through the spores as you hold your breath before when you're dashing into there. You're good. Nothing happens to you. You can still take the rest of your turn. Uh, you still have bonus action and action. This thing is actually... Uh, okay. So for my action, I'm just going to use my hand axe. And okay. Then... As the melee attack? Uh, Yes. Okay, uh, you got it. Uh, go ahead and roll to attack. Uh, ten. Ten. Uh, ten unfortunately does not hit. As if you just you what you do is that you bash him with your hand axe and it just passes through its form as a bunch of the flesh and bone are missing from its like a side portion right here and it just whiffs right through it uh you have another attack i'll use my unarmed strike are you gonna put the hand axe away and you punch it go ahead and roll your attack yeah i just got 11. <laughs> 11. Unfortunately, again, you, you try to hit its shoulder, and its shoulder is mostly not there, so you just catch a little bit of errant flesh, but you don't do any actually constituent damage to it. 
Um, you have a bonus action if you'd like to make one last unarmed strike, or you can flurry of blows to make two. Um, I'll use my flurry of blows. To okay, cool. Make two. So you also get the the advantages of um, the drunken master thing, which means that after this turn, well, yeah, after this turn, you can take step five steep foot back, and it won't be able to make an attack of opportunity. On you. Okay. Okay. Would you like to dump any stunning strikes into this, or are you just pummeling away at? Uh. I'll do some stumbling strikes on it. Stunning strike. Okay, go ahead. So yeah. go ahead and roll roll your attacks. Roll two more attacks for me. To hit D20 plus your unarmed strike attack modifier. Okay, I got 12 for the first one. Okay, that's miss, unfortunately. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, my... And 24 on the other one. That one hits. Okay, so I'm going to roll a con save for that stunning strike. That is uh, only a... Oh, that is a 14. What is your key save, DC? Peace. It should be over to the right. It should be the difficulty class that it needs to pass in order to save from your key abilities. Mm -hmm. It's 8 plus your wisdom modifier plus your proficiency modifier. Okay. What does it look like? I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Just what's your what's your wisdom modifier? My wisdom modifier is 16. Your modifier, not your score. Oh, plus 3. Sorry. No, it's okay. Um wait. So and your proficiency at level five is plus three. So, plus three. So eight plus three is 11. Wisdom is plus five. 16 is not plus five, 16 is plus three. Okay. Um, so, so six plus eight is 14. So it rolled a 14, so it saves against your stunning strike. Um, so it okay. is not stunned. But go ahead and roll your damage on that last strike. Ten. Ten points of damage as you blast into this one. Uh, <laughs> Sean just texted me saying, I have been told that I am already a plant. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, <laughs> he is. Um, you fuck this thing up. Even with only ten points of damage, it is on death's door. Um, so now all, and I mean all, of the Blossom Reborns are going to go. Um... Uh, I assume, Phoenix, you wanted to walk five minutes. That's okay. I'll just move. Uh, okay, cool. And did What's she up? have any other movement left after that? She only too? had five feet left. Which okay, is why she moved cool. away. Um, okay, so we're going to do numbers. First of all, we're going to do one. They aren't very fast. So we're going to move them all. But, bum. but they can dash, so we'll do five. That's gonna that's gonna be its dash. That's gonna be its dash. It it, it enters so the web for the first time because it's not dumb enough to avoid it. So it's gonna roll your dexterity saving throw. That is a nineteen on the die. Plus zero, so it is not, it is not affected. It's not cap. It's not, yeah. Okay. Um, Does my taunt work on any of them? Your what? My taunt. I mean, they're coming to you. Oh, okay. Just... Natural oh. reaction. Right. <laughs> uh. Uh, it goes there. It um, you it, it provokes an attack of opportunity from you, Micheni, as it heads over to a scoop. Sure, why not? Uh, that's a seventeen on the die. So I'll use my kopesh because it's right there. It's actually right here. That's seven points of slashing slashing damage. To okay, it. to. Number nine, you got it. Number nine. 
Uh, great. Okay. Um, a Phoenix, you also get an attack of opportunity on this boy right here, Blossom Born number eight, uh, because it walked by you. Um, as they are kind of all headed towards a scoop at the moment. So go ahead and roll your unarmed strike against that one. Okay. And this one comes down the stairs at you as scoop. It is technically, I think. Whoops. Yeah, it is technically. Whoops. Technically within five feet of you. Um, this one is going to five, ten, and attack Jin Fushi. Go ahead. What did you get on your attack, uh, Phoenix? Phoenix, what'd you get on your unarmed strike attack? Uh, 14. 14, that hits. Go ahead and roll your damage. Okay. Uh, this guy does two. not hinge in Fushi. Two, two points of damage? Yeah. That doesn't seem possible because your dexterity modifier is higher than two. Okay. Um, so you roll, you roll the d6 and then you add mm -hmm. your dexterity modifier to it for damage. Okay. Um, so then it's 14. That's also not possible. D6 can't go that high. Uh, oh, I'm not counting right. <laughs> so roll a D6, just roll the cube, and just add your dexterity okay. modifier to it. D6. Is the cube like the regular die looking dice? Okay. The, the Yahtzee dice. Just just roll it. Just roll the real one. Just roll it in, in okay. person. Just roll it. And then just oh, add yeah, your dexterity damage. modifier to it. Because you're doing damage. Eight. eight. Yeah, I've okay. eight. Okay, so yeah, adding your dexterity modifier is a total of eight. Okay. Um, you do that to oh, Blast from Reborn number eight. Um, as Question. you do that, that one's gone. That one's dead. It, uh, you punch it out of, in, into a bunch of piles of yes, yes. What? Question. Well, I was. Well, if you had punched it to, maybe it doesn't work it matter anymore. But if it had come within like five feet of me, would I have had to have made a wisdom saving throw? It's, it's on the same round, so you can only make one wisdom saving throw per round. I didn't. But yes, I didn't you have make to make one. one. Yes. Phoenix, okay. is, Phoenix is fine. It didn't come within 10 feet of hurt, um, and it did come within 10 feet of you, so yes, you do as well. Because I have the filtration mask on, do I get any sort of plus Oh, that's or right. You built that thing, didn't you? That's specifically we, yeah, meant, we, well, it's, well, it's the, the prototype from Bubblebeard, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah I'll give you advantage on this. Absolutely. Okay, cool. Uh, fuck. 11. Eleven. Um, that actually just succeeds. Uh, so you oh are God. okay. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, so you Ooh. are okay. Great. Okay. And do, do if another one comes within that amount, do I do we need to make the wisdom save again, or is it like all so the it's, same? So it's kind once of per round. Of once per six second period. Okay, so cool. if like so if you save for a round, you're good for that round because like I mean, cool. you, you, and then and then if it happens again the next round, then it, it, otherwise right. if it did it every fucking time, it'd be in it, it'd be super in, in abil, uh, debilitating. Uh, they right. would have a massive advantage in this fight. Um, okay, yes. So you're good for this round. Um, cool. Great. Thank um, you. The rest of them are going to move. Then the ones that are unseen. Bum, 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 bum. This one's gonna go. Five, ten, oh, ball set. It falls down. <laughs> yep, it falls down the hole and it goes this way. <laughs> Cause it's dumb. It fell down the ceiling hole. <laughs> Five, ten, ding. There it is. That's as far as it can go. Uh, great. Uh, then we're back to this guy. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, as it goes, tried to go down the uh, stairwell. Uh, the one that tried to attack Jinfushi missed. However, okay, you don't know what's going on up there. Actually, Nakano, you can see, you see 
um, as it attacks uh, Jin Fushi, spore, like the, the pollen kind of spreads in her direction, and she just kind of like, her form just kind of goes lax. And she's like, a smile kind of starts to crease across her face, and she's like, raises her hand, she's like, what pretty flowers. Um, great. This guy's gonna move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. It's gonna get right here as well. But it can't, it uses action to dash, so it cannot hit. Actually, it's gonna roll to see if it goes for you instead, Nakano. Uh, it does go for you instead, Nakano. Um, but it still can't reach you without using a dash, so it goes right in front of you. That is um, Nakano. I know. That's what I said. You said instead of you, instead of Nakano. Right, it's, it instead of Jin, it's gonna go to Nakano. Nakano, please roll a wisdom yeah, yeah. saving throw for me. <laughs> Okay. I'm just looking for Oh boy. It. Okay. Oh, wisdom Stop. saving throw coming yeah. right now. Hold on. <laughs> um, Mom, you want to roll to see if I lift? <laughs> <laughs> what if? What? <laughs> roll. Well, I mean, you know, it. the spores can take over and then, yeah. Whoa, she rolled an 18, so that means I got 19. Hey, yes! hey you're good. Yeah. You're good not job. fucked up. Fantastic! Woo! <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> That's great. That's great. Like okay, so you're okay. Wisdom in the background. Um, that's <laughs> all know. of their turns. That's all of their turns. It is now Omad Bahadi's turn. Um. Uh, he is going to, uh, do what he's told and, whoops, not go that way. He's going to do what he's told and go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, go, he, nope, not close to that thing. He's going to, uh, get behind Hurt and Machene, as he was told to get towards Machene. So he's, he's going to, this guy's, um, Pebbles is going to do the same thing, except he's going to get up on this rock and be like, I have a better vantage point from up here. It's okay. And he pulls out his wharf man. He's like, I'm ready to protect Omar. Good, good. You, you do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but like, you know, you know, just, uh, still, still, uh, stay behind the, you know, do, do, do that kind of thing. Too. Okay. Stay okay. Cool. Um, they both hold their actions to dodge or they both use their action to dodge. So all attacks against them have disadvantage. Uh, great. That's the end of turn order. Corpse flower is all set. Um, uh, is up next. That is now its turn. Is the top of the initiative. Okay, so now it has to roll its dexterity saving throw. Ooh, that is trash. Come on, be trash. Let's see. Uh, Sean's yep, here. I got it. Um, Sean's here. Yep, Hello. I got it. Hey! Hello! Yay! There you are! Awesome! Marie disappeared. Marie disappeared for some reason. Oh, why oh. did Marie disappear? Oh. I don't know. Okay, um... Hopefully Marie will get back, so we have... What, you need to throw a bot in? Yep. Um... She'll reconnect when she can. Uh, doing our best here. Um, okay, so yes, Tamron, you are a potted plant, and it is now this thing. Okay, so it for its dexterity saving throw, it rolled right. not <laughs> great. Uh, like uh, actually, Cameron put that evil on you because he said, "Oh, please, pop potted plant." I'm always saying that plant. though. <laughs> I'm always saying that now. <laughs> Wait, you made me a potted plant? No, yes. no. Well, yes. The gods made you a potted plant, but it is kind of funny. We were like, oh, it'd be funny if he was a potted plant, and then Marie's that's yep. what happened <laughs> on the Wait, wild it, magic table. Was it, oh, it was wild magic? Is that what happened? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because as you cast mage armor, yep. it of surged. So, yeah. Yep. Okay. But so, really um, great. Get your, Marie, get your video up when you can. Uh, great. Uh, so... If the corpse flower failed its dexterity. Well, it's got a it got a eight. What's your what's your your web save DC? Your spell save DC, Nakano. It's fourteen. Fourteen. So it only got an eight. So it is restrained, which means it is stuck there. It cannot move. Its speed is zero, and all attacks against it have advantage. 
Nice. Uh, it yeah. is it was going to use a strength check against your DC um, to see if it can break from the web. Uh, I hear your mom. <laughs> oh, yes, she's saying uh, Ipe Yasu. <laughs> ah, there. Ipe Yasu, Opa. Yes. Opa is a DJ. <laughs> she goes, can they see me? <laughs> uh, you're not... <laughs> um, it, it only rolled an 11 on its strength check. So it failed that. So it uses the entire action and turn. It can't do anything. Um, however, it can uh, drop, use another bonus action to drop another um, corpse here. Um, so it's going to drop another. Here we go. Whoops. I'm going to do open library here. Here we go. Get rid of that. Uh huh. Undead. Um, it drops it right into the web, uh, but it won't be able to take. It won't be able to roll a save or anything on it until the beginning of its turn because it it got fucked because it doesn't go near until the end of an initiative. But that's all it can do. It's stuck there. It can't do a thing. Uh, fantastic. Well done, Nakano. Awesome. <laughs> I love how I cast it and I run. <laughs> it works, you know. Like yeah. I, you, you stay back there. Like, um, <laughs> I imagine with this thing, it's like with the corpses in it too. It's it's kind of very much like almost Tim Burton esque as far as this flower kind of and graveyardy, you know. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, very Tim Burton esque. Like, it's like, yeah, it's like super gnarly and all, and mm -hmm. just now mm. with the webs. Yeah. Oh yeah, with the webs and everything. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, great. Okay, so um, that brings us to Hurt. Hurt is up next now, uh, as is tradition uh, with with uh, the Baker's Dozen. We also do mukbangs here. Uh, I'm very happy to have uh, mm -hmm. our our mukbang representative. <laughs> <laughs> Baby's gotta eat. Yep. Um, indeed, indeed. Yes, we all eat, we all drink, we have a good time. Um, great. So Hurt is going to do her best, um, and um, she's gonna move over here. To she, she was told to stay ten feet away from it. She's so she's going to stay ten feet away from it. But she is going to again throw two more daggers at. Uh, this thing over here. Um, uh, that's first one's a miss. Second one is a hit. Okay, so dealing six points of damage to the creature. That is number nine. Number nine. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, bringing that to go uh it looks pretty injured but it is still okay and standing um great uh she used an action and a bonus action to do two to, oh no she's a barbarian she gets two attacks and then she can use a bonus action to throw a third dagger uh because she raged last one that's why she couldn't do it uh, because it is a light weapon um that definitely hits holy shit that hits um another six damage but you just see Three daggers, just one of them was your bone dagger, uh, Tamarin, as uh, she just shoves these daggers through the air. Uh, another six damage. It looks pretty hurt. Um, great, but it is still standing. Okay. Uh, up next, we have a scoop, and then Macheni, you're on deck. Cool. Oh, getting okay. Yes, you are right here, a scoop. Yeah. What did I roll for initiative? Uh, you got a nine for initiative. I'm gonna call lightning again in between all three of them, right by me. Oh, like right here? Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. That's yeah, sure. I'll, I'll I'll consider that if you like have it strike this thing. I'll can or just yeah, I'll consider that five feet within all of them. Sure. Okay. Okay, so they all need to roll dexterity yep. saving throws. Um, yep. That's a natural twenty on one. One of them saves, or this this one saves. Uh, that is a. Oh, I don't believe they have a dex bonus. But let me double check. They do not. Okay. 
Okay, so that is a uh, fail for this one and a natural one for this one. So uh, two and one and two fail, 13 succeeds. Um, oh, I got a nine. I got a nine, nine, five. Just add it all up and give me the total. 26 damage. 26. Okay, so uh, the number one and two take 26 points of damage. Um, woo! That's a lot of damage. Uh, they look right hurt, um, whereas 13 uh, takes 13 points of damage. Look at that. 13 takes 13 points of damage. Uh, oh. Great. Uh, that's your action. Uh, you are, unfortunately, within 10 feet of this thing, so you have to make a wisdom saving throw. I forgot to make you do it. On the start of my turn? No, no, no. Um, you didn't do it before when it moved down the stairs. I just forgot. Oh, uh, okay. But, so yeah, it would have happened before this, but it's okay. Wisdom saving? Mm-hmm. Or con? Oh, that's, wisdom. Uh, 19. 19, you're good. Uh, the, the, the pollen hits you, but you're like, no, not fucking today. And you push through it. Um, you have bonus action of movement. And I'm gonna spiritual weapon. I am oh, spiritual weapon by Jin Fushi because I know the location. I just right. You don't have to see it, do you? No. Does it say a, a, a point within range that you can see? Well, can you move me up, uh, far up, up on, on top of the stairs as possible? Sure. You want to move thirty feet up here? Yeah. Well, well I see what the switch weapon is. Okay. 15, 20, 25, 30. The uh, one of the blast from board number thirteen will get a um, attack, attack, attack of opportunity yeah. on you. Um, uh, it is going to use its vine whip to pull you closer. Um, that is a sixteen to hit. Hit. Um, we need you to roll deck saving throw for me. They gotta do uh, Wrath of the Storm. Yep, and they need so what throw do they need to throw for that? <laughs> so this is a much I want. <laughs> um, where where is it? Oh, I use my channel divinity. I believe this is a like con, isn't it? It's a con. Yeah, I'm just trying to reaction. It is a. Deck save 16. Deck save 16. And That's a failure. So they're going to take all the damage. Go ahead and roll your damage. Let's do that first. Um, but you um, are going to take damage from this vine whip too. Um, and then you need to roll a dexterity saving throw to see if you're grappled. That is... That was almost perfect. That is a 15 damage. Woo! 15. As just electricity surges through his body. Um, that's number 13, right? You said 16 yeah. points of damage? Uh... 15. 15. 15. You got it. Uh, it is on death's door. Um, you are going to take this damage, however. You could take 13 points of bludgeoning damage, and I need you to roll a dex save for me. Okay. I got... You guys uh, did that? Uh, this guy right here did it. As 14. a scoop ran by him as an attack of opportunity. Damn. But a scoop did Wrath of the Storm and shot them as a reaction. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What'd you get? 14? 14. 14 is exactly what you needed to. Or, 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 um, so you are not grappled as this vine tries to wrap around you and you electrocuted in it. Uh, twitches and spasms allowing you in just enough time I do not to, need to run see, by I, I, Sorry. I don't need to see the, um, the spiritual weapon, but I think I'm at an angle where I can kind of see. Um, yeah, I, you know what? I'd say with your height, uh, you could probably, like, cast it up, like, ten feet up in the air. Sure, yeah. Okay. We're looking so, through the spot that Nakano is in. Yeah. I guess, um... Yeah, you can probably get that spot. Okay, so let me, let me pull I up I mean, I, I can, no, I, I, I just, I can cast it wherever. I just, you know... Right, it just have helps. Just helps. Yeah. How do I um, how do I do that? Is that a is there a thing? Just to put bread or something. Bread? <laughs> I mean that thing. would be kind of like Get your giant baguette or something. Just <laughs> yeah. you know, I think there three are days like, old, just 
<laughs> spiritual <laughs> weapons, though. I think there are. Um, yeah, I think so too. Weapon. There you go. There you go. But I want got I don't get that. But they just sit there. Okay, that's funny. Uh, um, you want a baguette? Do you want bread? <laughs> do they have bread? Uh, I think they, they do. Bread, they do. Here you go. Perfect. Great. So we'll put can the bread right there. I don't know if I can or not. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> but I could just do this. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wonder. Oh wait, you know I might be able to increase the. No, I don't think I could do that. Uh... Um... Oh, it's gone, and it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> my brand. Yeah, it's been Fushi. Oh, we'll just put it she here. Just... So we'll just remember oh. that that's not a prop. It is a thing. I feel like there are. I thought there were things, but I guess there's not. Oh wait, here, here's a spiritual weapon. This is what the the counter the thing for spiritual weapon is supposed to be. Uh, I like the bread. Okay, <laughs> the bread's just a lot harder to move because I have to go into build mode in order to do it. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm th are you still making it the shape of a giant baguette, though? A scoop? Oh no, like, I thought it was just... a needle for the longest time. Yeah, it was. But Whoa. Like Ever since some of that. Anyways, um. <laughs> yeah, the uh, longest hit, bread. Hit the zombie. Baguette is the longest fucking bread. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good song. All right, it is really. I'd love to do it in the quartet. <laughs> oh, anyway, anyway, okay, okay. So you spiritual weapon attack this guy, right? Yep. 19 to hit. 19 That's... to hit. Go ahead and roll that damage. What what's uh, what level did you cast? Crumbs flying everywhere. Crumbs <laughs> flying everywhere. <laughs> it's like it's like when people tell you not to eat cookies in the bed, and you're just like, oh my god, you were right. This is why. <laughs> uh, fantastic. Uh, what level did you cast spiritual weapon at? A scoop. Two. Two. Okay. Cool. So go ahead and roll the damage against. Blossom Reborn number 11. This is a 12. 12 points of damage. You got it. Okay, that's your action, bonus action, and movement. That's the end of your turn. Mm -hmm. um, okay, Macheni, you are up. Nakano, you're on deck. All right. Um, can you check how far away I am from the corpse flower, please? Sure. Let's take a look them. here. Let's pull out our ruler. It looks like you are 40 to 45 feet. All right. I will run back about 15 feet towards it. And then... Run back about 15 feet towards it. You've got it. You want to go 5, 10. We'll give you this one. This 10, 15. Mm -hmm. There you go. Correct. And now I should be within, within 30 feet of it. Yep. Great. And as I'm running, I'm thinking through the part of me that is actually in this plane. Yeah. So I um, take that part of my consciousness and transform it into my planar warrior ability as my bonus action as I try to hit this thing um, with advantage with my first, my arrow. Um, right, because it's restrained. It has everything against it has advantage. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yo, what a dope ass use of that spell, Nakano. Yeah, that was great. Um, so that's 16 on the die. Uh, that hits. Yeah, yeah. That uh, that okay. surpasses its uh, armor class. So you cool. hit it with this uh, planar warrior chakram. Mm -hmm. No, well, it's I, I brought out my arrow. Okay, you brought out your longbow. You got it. Yep. Whew, we'd love to see it. It's, um, sorry, that, that was... Pretty darn awesome. I mm -hmm. uh, okay. So that's 16, 19, 24 points of force damage. Ooh! Ouch! It's not looking good. And then I will do it again. Holy but shit! 
But you know, no, not no without the planar warrior. warrior. You got it. But um, yeah. Let's see. Uh, that is a twenty-three to hit. That hits. Okay. And that is um. 15 points of piercing damage. 15 points of piercing damage for a total of 39 points of damage for that one turn. Amazingly done. It does not look good. You could see some of its buds has deflated and like fallen over and are wilting. Mm -hmm. And I will... Um... There we, I mean, go. there we go. There we go. Sorry about okay. that. Uh, another little hiccup. I'm gonna keep moving forward. You, there what will you do? So I, I am moving radially, um, like trying to keep about the same distance from the giant flower. But if I have 20 feet of movement, and if you can try to move me so that I try to stomp on on the potted plant that was formerly known as Tammy. You along want the way. to? You want to? Okay. Just so you know, he's not polymorphed. He is just a potted plant. He has just as many hit points. He just has vulnerability to all damage, which means he just takes two, two points damage. If he ever goes down to zero hit points, he is unconscious and bleeding out. He just becomes Tamarid again, but he's still bleeding oh, out. Oh, okay. Never mind. I he am doesn't not revert stomp his on form. Tamarid. I like, am not going to stomp on it's, it's not like Polymorph. Gonna... He doesn't get another pool of hit points for when they're gone. He moves okay. back into Tamarid. I'll become un unplanted soon, I think, right? At the beginning of your turn, yeah. you become unplanted. I will... But okay, uh, so I'll still move like I believe, or the end that radial movement. movement, and I'll kind of put myself in between the giant flower and the little flower known formally as Tammy. Known <laughs> formally as Tammy, you got it. Uh, so twenty feet, five, however, ten, fifteen. We can put because you already use your diagonal. You can go there. Perfect. Uh, and that's my turn. Yeah, until the start of your next turn, you're part of the plan. Okay? Uh, Macheny, that's your turn. Uh, Nakano, you are up. Literally, up here. Huh. I'm on the edge. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm glory! To, uh, on the edge! I'm <laughs> glory! <laughs> um, I haven't really... Really <laughs> <laughs> I have a really good... Uh, looks like range in front of that green zombie. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you're you're five feet from it. Oh, so I can attack then. Uh, you can. <laughs> you will not get sneak attack, however. I know that. Okay. Or you can like um, use your bonus section to disengage and go over the one that Jinfushi is next to. It's up to you. Well, how would I disengage? This. This is right. He's right in front of me. Yeah. Okay. Whatever you want to do. Okay. Can I uh, um, use my uh, Blade of Eladriel here? Absolutely. To um, flash him. You want to flash him? Flash him. like. <laughs> oh, slash him. Oh, my God. Well, I don't, I'm not looking to do that. No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> See if I can stun him by flashing him. <laughs> the glorious death. Oh, would that be a wisdom throw? A wisdom save? <laughs> Con save, maybe? <laughs> okay, go ahead and roll your attack. I got a 19. 19 hits. Go ahead and roll that damage. No sneak attack, but Blade of Ladriel does plat plus one damage and all that jazz. So. Three. Three total? <clears throat> your, the D6 plus your dexterity modifier plus one. Oh, plus dex. I forgot the dex. Yeah. <laughs> um, so my dex is six, nine. You have a plus six to dex? That's not possible. The Highest Haladriel. is plus five. Not the attack bonus, the damage bonus. Oh. 
<clears throat> Your dexterity wow. modifier. Uh, I see. Um, so that's a six. Six total. You got it. As you slash what just happened to him? Well, he's gone, he's gone. so I guess... He's gone. <laughs> I guess I won. I guess <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> he got scared of me, so he just ghosted. I guess he's fucking gone. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Who said that? I don't know. Who said that? Uh, it was, I think <laughs> it was... <laughs> Like Google or something. My yeah. phone just ta- spoke. I didn't even touch it. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is, I believe this was number, I don't remember what number was this. Does anybody else remember what number what this was? No. No. Oh, there it is. Blossom well, Reborn number 12. There. Oh, he's hidden. That's why. Let's get rid of this guy then. <laughs> uh, he's hidden. Let's reveal him. That's why. There we go. Okay, cool. Ah, so you do six points of damage to Blossom Reborn number 12. Awesome. Uh, you have a bonus action, if you'd like it. The dash towards the... Uh, towards Jinfushi? Jinfushi. Okay, cool. Um, 5, 10, 15... I'm sorry, this is 10. 20. 15, 20. Uh, you can get within striking range of the other one. This one at the window will, because you didn't take the disengage, will... Uh, attack me if I roll break. attack of opportunity. It misses with only a six. Cool. It try to reach its lazy vines out and just can't grab you. Uh, great. That's that's your action, your movement, and your bonus action. Um, up next then is Tamron, and then Phoenix is on deck. I am plants. You are plant, but at the beginning of your turn, you no longer become Yay. plant. Uh, as I? plant is right no here, plants. this is oh. the plant. The plant disappears, and then this creature is revealed. Wonderful! No, don't exit. There you go. You're back into there. Tandy. I am. Good to have you back. Yeah, I guess it's good to be back. I mean, I do like being a plant. I don't have to worry about things like monsters. Right. It seems pretty well, zen, you know. Pretty zen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The flower is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Where has my flower gone? Um, okay. Ooh. Is that what is that? Is that a person in front That's of me? What's weird. that? Uh, I <laughs> am right in front of you. That's Machete. Okay. I'm. That's Machete. Machete's, Machete's right here. You're right here. We have uh, Omad Bahati here and Pebbles right here. Phoenix is okay. over here, and okay. this is Hurt, and that's uh, Blossom okay. Reborn. And I've used <clears throat> one first level, level one spell slot. That's correct. And, and your magic surge did happen, so you're armor. back to down, back to one. Yes, um, and I haven't taken any hit, hit points. That's correct. Great, and I have mage armor. That's correct. I feel like it's very on brand for me to forget to do mage armor, cast mage armor, roll really low on wild magic, and turn <laughs> into a plant. <laughs> it seems very on brand. <laughs> oh, here yeah, we go. Oh, yeah. guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. Ah, shit. <laughs> now it's time to shine. Uh, all right, I see. Whoops. I would like to get around. Is it possible to get around the fountain? How far around the fountain can I get? Uh, with your 30 oh, feet of movement? Oh, there's a dude there, though. There's a dude there. There's a dude um, there and there. I'm trying to get... I see three people in a line there with a the big guy. I'm trying to get into lightning position. Uh, you can roll an athletics check to, like, uh, go over the fountain and climb the fountain, if you like. Yeah? Yeah. You want to? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's just see how far you can get. You can move six cubes, so boop, 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 boop. You can get, um, I'd say, like, yeah, just about where you need to get to in order to line that up. All right, let's do it. All right, go ahead and roll athletics check for me. Fifteen. Fifteen! That was the DC. Fantastic. Well done. So you climb up here and you jump. You jump off this top bit, giving yourself like an extra five feet of movement. And you like, you know, roll, do that one of those rolls and just stand up and like, (laughs) Do one of these. Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Yeah! 
Um, I have to, I'm sorry, when I changed to my iPad, I didn't move my spell save DC and I forgot how to calculate it. It's it eight, is eight plus, plus your proficiency bonus. Yes. Plus your 11. charisma modifier because you are a sorcerer. 14. That's the same as my spell attack bonus, right? Well, the DC, no. no, because you don't have plus 14 to your spell attack. Your spell attack is your proficiency plus your charisma. Your right. DC is your proficiency plus your charisma plus eight. I understand, I understand. Right. Uh, great. So, um, this so dude... So my spell save DC minus eight. Yes. Um, so, Blossom Reborn number 13. Your spell save DC, is, as you said, is... 14. 14. Okay. Is it really that low? I Man, I, I had I'd rolled poorly. Like my my charisma is at is plus three. Oh, okay. Um, yep. Uh, that so. that's a failure. That's a that's a thirteen, just failure, uh, for Blossom Born number thirteen. We've got corpse flowers. I don't see numbers. That's okay. That's just for me. Okay. Um, how about now? Do you see him now? Yeah. Yeah, see, there we go. That's It's mostly for me. Uh, okay. This one's called a Lossom Reborn because the B is missing. Um, that's okay. That one failed. The corpse flower succeeded, unfortunately. And okay. the uh, the new zombie over here failed. Uh, go ahead and roll your damage. So both the zombies failed, the corpse flower succeeded. Cool, 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 cool. Does this burn the web? 8d6. Uh, it's not sent. It, the web is on the ground, so it just goes right. over it. 1, 2, should I have these ready? 3, 4, 5, 6. I don't have 8. I have 7. Oh, I do have 8. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty good. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to use uh, Empowered Spell to reroll three of them. Ooh, is, is that how that works? You can just reroll... It's up to my Charisma modifier, I can roll. Wow! So oh, I can reroll Go ahead and three. mark down those sorcery points. I believe it's like three sorcery points, isn't it? It's three sorcery points. Aw. Yeah. Oh. I, I believe you can take either total, or is it to force you to take the new total? I don't remember what I... That's right. Okay, so what's your what's the total damage for your lightning? 20, 29, 30. 31 damage. 31 damage! Oh, you must new, use the new rolls, is what it says. Okay. Um... 31 damage, so the the corpse flower is going to take 15 of that. It also ignites flammable objects. Is the corpse flower flammable? It is not. Uh, it is not flammable for the purposes of this, unfortunately. Oh. Um, but what you do do is entirely incinerate uh, these two here. Those yes. fires. It's doing that code thing. Oh yeah, it's, it needs mm -hmm. a moment. You're breathing. Yeah. Sean, you're yes, fine. everyone's I, breathing. I do that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just goes into the I'm mic. Really into sometimes the if, mic. if you bend the uh, the microphone to be like straight rather than around your mouth, it it yeah, that's much better. Yeah. <clears throat> I just imagine it as Tammy like taking a a big breath after <laughs> casting lightning bolt. Like, <gasps> yeah. <laughs> I don't like how it like makes me sound like I'm just out of breath all the time. I, <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I promise I'm breathing normally. <laughs> you mouth breather. <laughs> it's uh, wheezing constantly. It's constantly wheezing. Tamron, the, <laughs> Tammy the Tempest Weezer. I mean, Tesla he does Tammy have a, Weezer. He has a medical condition. Yeah. We're very clear about it not being Tempest Tammy. Who said that? <laughs> Nobody. Nobody said that. <laughs> there we go. I don't back. know. I thought Machini brought it up earlier. <laughs> that, was, that was initial spitballing, you know? Okay. <laughs> so those two are incinerated, and you do a decent amount of damage to this thing. This thing is looking bad. Like, not good at all. 
Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to roll a dexterity saving throw with disadvantage for the web. See if it gets caught by the... Because you incinerated both of those guys, see if the grounding of the electricity passing through them ignites, ignites the thing. Usually it automatically does, uh, but I'm just double checking here. Okay, that's not Good. great, unfortunately. The yeah, that's a six. So, ignites flammable objects. Yep. So it, it does that. Yep, so these webs then are going to ignite. Ooh. Uh, essentially getting rid of them entirely and in their oh. place. Whoops. I thought it would. Does it burn the guy a little bit? It, it does. It does do damage. Yeah. I believe it says in the web spell, doesn't it, Nakano? I think it's 2d8. Or 2d4. <clears throat> she might have had to step away for a second. Uh, oh, okay. She had to step away for a moment. It's okay. We will put some fire here while we're waiting. DJ likes fire. Y'all cast things that do fire all the time. <laughs> they we're do. called the Tempest. <laughs> You're not called the Tempest. You're called the Baker's Dozen. Literally involved baking, which involves fire. We're not the Arch and Flame. We're not Argus. Okay. Well, there's fire we on the yeah, I mean, we board. set things on you fire. You set things on fire. You do. <laughs> you did. <laughs> you do. What have we ever set things on fire? Things. You just uh, did! I mean, it's just fuck, now. Just now. Okay, other than that, other than that. Then. Just, just I guess now. that's a good point. I guess we don't really set things on fire. Not right. too often. We never did, though. I mean, ah. fire just happens around you. Um, all right, okay, so any five foot cube of webs exposed to fire burns away in one round, dealing two point two d four fire damage to any creature that starts its turn in the fire. So at the at the at the top of the corpse file's turn, it will take two d four points of fire damage. Is it in okay. multiple squares though? So it should take more than that. I don't think that's how it works, but it uh, maybe it should. Any five foot cube of webs. That's why I'm thinking it might. Up, up Fuck! It. You're gonna kill but my bit bad like immediately. It's up um, to you. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's in four squares of what's it, any five foot cube of webs exposed to fire burns with <laughs> dealing. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so it's specified dealing two point four fire damage to any creature that starts its turn in the fire. I think it considers right. the fire as one entity. Um, That's fair. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Cool. Cool. Great, so we're done with build mode. We can go back here. Shit's on fire. Tamron popped the lightning bolt. Um, you guys still have a bonus action if you'd like it. Um, nah. Okay, Phoenix. <laughs> Phoenix, you are up. What would you like to do? Um, go next to Hurt. Okay. Uh, Hurt is over here. Okay, you. Bop, bop, bop. Go next to Hurt. Like the other side. The other side. You got it. Okay, go ahead and roll a wisdom saving throw. <clears throat> Just roll a d20 and add your wisdom saving throw on. Mm -hmm. uh, 23. 23, you're okay. Uh, as the spores enter your space, you're still okay. Or as the uh, pollen enters your space, you're still okay. Okay. Are spores and pollen the same thing? They are not. One's fungi, one's plant-based. Um. Well, actually, spores can also be from the fern, That's fern family. So, you know. Phoenix, what are you doing on your turn now that you have moved here? Right. It's gonna like do my unarmed strike song. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and roll your attacks against this thing. Okay. I do wonder why 14. you're not getting transformed. Fourteen. Uh you got it. That hits. Go ahead and roll uh, your second damage, attack. Seven damage. For Seven damage, okay. Um, mm -hmm. Usually for monks, since you have so many attacks, I just have you roll the attack and then add the damage after that. Okay. Uh, I got 15. Hit. Both of them hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. Seven for the first one. How much for the second one? Sorry. Number already. 
10 points of damage, so 17 total to Blast from Reborn number 9. Great. Uh, that one's down. Boom. Gone. Yay. You still have a bonus <clears throat> action? Uh, I'll just stay there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, you still have a bonus where... action. Uh. Did she throw something? Uh, no, bonus action can still be used to make unarmed strikes. Okay. You still have? Do you still have any movement left too, or? Are you... Yeah, she still has some movement. She still have about okay. fifteen feet of movement. But you said you oh. wanted to stay there. Well, then I'll just go. Uh. Next to those stairs. Okay, 5, 10, and we'll say this is 15. Um, you could use your bonus action to step up the wind and dash, if you'd like. I'll use it. Okay, so mark down another key point. As you... You end up right there. Up the stairs. Okay. Um, you don't need to roll another wizard saving throw because you already succeeded one this turn. Okay, it's the end of Phoenix's turn. It is now all of the... The Reborn's turn. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20. Gonna come up to you. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. That's gonna come right there. That's its, that's its movement and dash. Uh, this one right here, uh, number one, is going to attack uh, you, Micheni. Okay, um, do I first need to yep. make a saving throw? Yep, 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 yep. Okay, I'm doing it with advantage because of my lovely mask. Uh, that is a 15. You are okay, you save. Awesome, cool. All right. Uh, and now it's gonna make its attack on you. Um, bu- 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 that is a, a 13 to hit. Miss. Okay, Uh, then it's going to spray, it's do its soccer spray as it exhales a spray of soccer petals in your direction, a 10 foot cone. You need to make a constitution saving throw for me, please. Does this also, is there any effect from the mask? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yes. This is at advantage because you're wearing the, the filtration mask. Okay. Uh, that's for con 19 19 you succeed you are okay um, okay uh, great so you take no damage and nothing happens to you Wow <laughs> mask coming in handy yeah there it is okay we're gonna bring this guy down a little bit so we can see this level I think some other people had masks too just um, throwing it out it was there. Just, I think it was just one prototype was it, it was just one prototype, yeah. Okay. Yep. Shoot. There's more dudes coming. Yep. Okay. Um. It's okay. Everything's okay. Uh, this one is going to make an attack at you, Phoenix, number thirteen. Well, oh, you're surrounded. Shit. Uh, that's a natural twenty. Ooh. Oh no. Okay, so you're gonna take some damage here. I need you to roll a dexterity saving throw for me. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. You save, so you are not grappled uh, by the vine that hits you. And I rolled absolute trash for damage. Hell yeah! Oh um, my god, two ones and three twos. Um, We've been getting lucky. It's Twelve. You take thir- uh, fifteen points of bludgeoning damage, and then I need you to roll a Constitution saving throw for me. Thirteen. Thirteen, you just save and are not influenced by the Sakura spray. Uh, okay, now moving on over here. Five, 10, 15, 20. 25, 30. That's his turn. Tamron, please roll a, con- a wisdom saving throw for me. Uh, 
Eleven. Eleven. Uh, that is not enough. I will Ties of Chaos. Okay. Sixteen. That is enough. Uh, as you are not influenced by the Sakuros uh, pollen. Okay. Uh, none of them can get to you fast enough, so they can't really make attacks. Oh, well, most of them can't anyway. However, this one can. It's coming at you, Nikano. Um, uh, it's actually going to make its attack from over here because it has reach. Um, and it's trying to pull you away. Uh, that is a 24 to hit. Oh my god. Or I'm sorry, 23 to hit, but yes. Okay. Please roll a dexterity saving throw for me. Okay. Nikana. That will be used. Wait, I have a high dex. Uh, 20. 20, you succeed. But you do take uh, 11 points of bludgeoning damage from the vine as it whips out and just bashes into your rib cage. Um, it is uh, then going to spray Sakura petals at you. Please roll a constitution saving throw. Okay. Eighteen. Eighteen, you're okay. Wow, you guys are killing it with these saves. Yeah, oh, real high. Right. Uh, this one is then also going to attack you. Oh, great. Uh, that is that is a miss, believe it. It's only a six, though. But you still have to roll another con save as it's going to spray you with the Sakura spray. Okay, fifteen. That's Wait. another success. Holy crap, wow. guys. Has I, anybody failed yet? <laughs> nobody has failed. I mean, you used your Tides of Chaos, so no. No, yeah. nobody. That's amazing. You guys, yeah. absolutely amazing. Um, I think it's... Yeah. It's but usually also, the other way around. You guys fuck get fucked by these things. Yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead, Angela. If I rolled shitty, I could also use Lucky here, too. Right? That's true. That's yeah. absolutely true. Yeah, Luck is an amazing ability. Um, great. Okay, that's the end. That's all of them. They, there's no more left, I believe. I'm, if I'm just double checking here, whoops. Burn, big dude, burn. <laughs> here we go. Scorching that um, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm just double checking to see. Oh, there's one over here. You got that's slowly making its way down the stairs. <laughs> here you come. <laughs> here you come, that boy. Bad, yeah. bad boys, bad come, boys. Here you come, that boy. <laughs> oh shit, what up? <laughs> here you come, that boy. <laughs> Swiggity swooty. Uh, oh, and this one too. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. There he is. Okay. Whoa, let's not put that over there. Uh, fantastic. Uh, great. That is the end of that. Uh, we then have Omad Bahati and and uh, Pebbles and a Flowing Ritter. They are... <laughs> they're going to stay up on there and they're going to use their action to dodge. Just kind of staying there, not really sure what else to do. Um, okay. We're back to the top of the order. The Corpse Flower. It takes... Go ahead, Nakano, roll that 2d4 points of fire damage as your web is on fire, hurting it. 2d4s? Yep. Mm -hmm. Four. Four points of damage. Okay. Uh, It looks fuck. (laughs) That was such a great spell. Uh, Good good job. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, it is its turn, however, and it is it is a much larger creature than this. Let's do this. I can do this. I can change its size. Here too. Boom. There it is. Yeah. Um, so we'll move bottom. It can move right there. Boom. Oh, I love how it goes boom, and it makes everything <laughs> shake. That's really great. Okay, let's just make sure it's in the right spot. There we go. Whoops. Whoops. There we go. It's dancing. Spot. It's dancing. It is within 10 feet of you, unfortunately, Macheny, so it is going to make its attacks on you. Not only I made that, the save last time, though, right? Like, within the round? Correct. This is so, a different ability. Cool. All uh, right. Unfortunately, as you just sense the stench from this thing just wreak havoc on your senses, and you have a sense of smell, correct? I, this sister does, yep. This sister so. does. So please roll a constitution save for me. Oh, I'm sorry. This will be at the start of your turn. So it doesn't okay. happen just quite yet. 
Um, All right. However, and go ahead. Would the filter do anything for this? I just need to know. Mm, if it doesn't, that's fine. I, I just want to know. For... I don't think so. I don't think okay. that. this is more of just like the stench of death. Um, um, okay. So okay, it's cool. not. It doesn't filter out like this isn't pollen based. Okay. Uh, it is going to make uh, three tentacle attacks on you though. Okay. Um, we've got some stuff here. Let's turn this light on. Okay, great. Um, that is a 17 to hit. Miss. Misses, okay. Mm-hmm. Second attack is a only a 7 to hit. Dodge out of the way of that tentacle. Three. And Five. is only a 16 to hit. Jump over the other last tentacle. Amazing. So three big vines go at you, and you just do woohoo! Um, <laughs> amazing. Uh, nothing, nothing touches you. You're great. That's its turn. That's all it can do. Okay. Oh no! As a bonus action, it will drop another zombie boy. Oh, they're just popping out of this guy. Yeah. Yeah. That's not good. No. Uh, and and unfortunately, that guy is within ten feet. That's nasty. Of Omad Bahadi, so my Omad's gonna have to make a wisdom saving throw. Come on, Omad. That's a natural 20 for Omad. Yeah. Uh, he saves. Oh, wow. <laughs> you guys, amazing this battle with your saves. Absolutely fantastic. Oh yeah, it's uh, crazy. Hurt is up. Hurt's right here. Uh, Hurt is going to move to the other side over here. Uh, not within 10 feet of this creature, but try to um, get rid of this boy. Uh, she's going to throw her daggers at the at the little boy that's that's hurting that's um, within the range of Omad. She's going to throw three daggers at this thing. Uh, that's a hit. That's a hit, and that's a natural twenty. Oh Fuck my yeah, God, hurt! Hell yeah! <laughs> so that's four d four plus a ton. Uh, okay. Okay, ten plus. For each one, I believe it's like plus four. Uh, yes. So plus twelve. So twenty-two points of damage, and this thing is things gone immediately. Just as soon as it popped up, it's gone. Uh, as she just three daggers right into the skull, falls down. You guys are getting the sense now as you're looking throughout these. A bunch of these like tentacled. Uh, viney plant monsters are wearing like maid outfits and housekeeper robes and cook aprons. Um, cool. That is the end of Hurt's turn. Uh, a scoop, you're up. And you're breathing. My thing's not even turning no, out. No, it was TJ that was breathing, right? <laughs> no, it wasn't me. It was it was Sean. Uh, call, call, call lightning on the big, big dude. Yeah. Come on. Call lightning this on the big guy, dude? This has got to be it. Okay. This has got to be it. The dexterity saving throw. Where would you like to put light, call lightning? Tell me when to stop. Sorry. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't matter. Just within five feet of him. Okay, got it. Because you just don't yeah. want to hit your uh, uh, friends. Okay, cool. Um, ooh, what's your DC? Sixteen. Fourteen. It fails. Go ahead and roll your damage. That's. What is that? Does my voice just seem too loud to begin with? No, 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 no. It's just every once in a while it just picks up ju- your breathing like for a good like two minutes straight. 24. 24. A scoop. Describe this creature's demise. We'll just get shocked by lightning. Oh, wonderful. Let me paint the picture. Okay, cool. So the iris that opens up... Just get shocked by lightning. The iris that opens up from the cloud up in the skies be- opens, it opens even further and further still as... Fractal pieces of lightning start to converge in one location and strike the earth right through it. You see the 
very cartoonistic. All of the skeletons and the bones within this creature start to <laughs> strobe within it as this thing just <laughs> and you smell the what smells like burnt, undead, rotting flesh throughout the entire mm. area as this <laughs> thing just falls to the ground and it's Yum. gone. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, great. A scoop. You still have a bonus action and your movement. Again, save Jin Fushi. And then uh, spiritual weapon, the uh, same. You got same it. Your dude. spiritual weapon attacks. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you gotta go, you gotta roll that attack. So that's. Seventeen? Seventeen, seven. Yes. Seventeen to attack. That hits. This is number eleven. Nine damage. Oh. Nine damage. Sorry, sorry, my bad. Thirteen damage. I rolled it twice by mistake. That's okay. Uh it is very hurt, but it is not yet down. And I'm gonna move. Inside okay. it. You're going to move up the stairs? Yeah. Okay. Or as far as I can inside. 5, it. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You can get here with the diagonal. Yeah. Great. You got it. Um, that is the end of your turn. A scoop. Macheni is your turn. Nakano, you're on deck. I assume the stench remains even though the flower is gone? Uh, no, it is no longer pulsing out, pushing out the, uh, it, most of it has been burned off. You ever burn corpses and then they smell for a while, but they no longer burn, uh, yeah. yeah I it, have, actually, a, but. <laughs> yes, of course you have. Um, so, um, yeah, so, no, its ability yeah. of that stench is no longer affected. Okay, cool. I use my bonus action to move the hunter's mark to the guy that's right in front of me. I'm like, oh, really? You want to? Okay, let's do this. And I, okay, this uh, guy, you got it. Yeah, um, and I attack him with my... Uh, sorry, I shock him first. And then offhand will be the other, the scimitar, because the shock room we've decided is a melee weapon. So, which is nifty. Did we decide that? Is it is yeah, a thrown melee, melee weapon? You have melee that piece of paper. Finesse. You got it. Melee thrown finesse. So I'm not I'm not actually throwing it. I'm just mm -hmm. slashing. You slash it, sure. Yeah, uh, that's a 16 on the die. Yeah, that hits. Cool, cool. Um, doo -doo -doo. So that is 10 points of slashing damage to him. 10 points of slashing damage. Done and, and done to Blossom Reborn number one. Second now, wait a second. It it's gone. You slash Ooh. it and and bisect it, uh, and parts of its body just slough off, and okay. it's gone. Um, can you uh, It's the beginning of this round, however, and you did start your turn within ten feet of it, so you do have a roll with some saving. Do you want me to? Okay, I can do that now. Add advantage because of your mask. Uh, that was eighteen on both dies, guys. Whoa! Oh. Amazing. Um, fantastic. Okay. Great. So um, you still have another attack. I do. There's and... two over here near Phoenix, and there's one over. There's two over here near Phoenix, and there's one over okay. here in the doorway. And there's also this one now, right up in Tammy's face, and another one coming. I will move to the side so that I can get a good shot, because the fountain's kind of blocking my way, and we'll I think this that way? would still. Uh, no, towards the staircase, please. There you go. Wonderful, and then I will try to throw my chakram at it. Which one? The one that is next to Tammy. Okay, you got it. Uh, 17 on the die. That hits. Yeah, because it's like plus four, so plus seven or something. It's plus eight. Jeez. Um, Minus. 
The Hunter's Mark, I couldn't move Hunter's Mark again, no. so it is only 11 points of slashing damage. Right. Does that mean your Hunter's Mark fades at the end of your turn? No. Well, because I, I moved it. Right, you moved it at the beginning of this turn with put it on a creature and then you killed this creature, so I believe you just have it, you have concentration until the next turn. Yeah. It just says, no, before the spell ends, which oh. it lasts for an up, to, up to an hour, so I can move it again after. I thought it. I thought there was a stipulation or statute of limitations when it comes to if it's not on a creature for a round. I don't see it in the vanilla spell, but if okay, I'll just look it up. okay. Uh, you can use the bonus action on a subsequent turn of yours to make uh, uh, to make it mark switch. So it has to be the turn right after. So you're good. Okay. As long as you move the the um, the Hunter's Mark by your next turn, you should be fine. Sure. Great. Okay. Okay, so that's your turn. And how much damage did you do to the creature? I, I just did 11 points of damage to the creature. You got it. To Blossom Reborn number four, which has not been damaged yet. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I will move just a little bit closer to the staircase. Um, I will not go up the staircase yet, and I That's will. That's as far as you get. I have thirty-five feet of movement. Oh shit! Okay, so you can get. And then um, I will just again motion to Pebbles and Omad. Come on, we've got, come on, we've got to go. So. Okay, you do so. That's my turn. Um, great, uh, Nakano, you're up. Tamer, you're on deck. Kano, you are up okay. here. In there. Where am I? At? You're right here up <clears throat> with Jin Fushi. That's you. That's you. That's me? That's, That's you. me? That's you. What happened to me? I told you the transforming stopped working. <gasps> I don't know what I look like. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've, I've tried to yeah, see when every time I try to transform you, the mod isn't working for some reason. Don't know why. So, well. Okay. Well, well. I could attack here, right? So, yeah. uh, um, yes, technically. Sword, sword, right? Okay, yeah, looking. technically, Jin, Jin is not threatening the creature now because she's an ally of the oh. because she fell under the sway of the of the, of the, uh -huh. of the blossoms. So you would not get sneak attack here. Oh, that's fine. Okay, um, that's okay. I will roll oh. for attack. 16. 16 hits. And then uh, D6 plus 3 plus dex mod, right? D6 right. Plus, plus your one, dex plus mod dex. plus 1 because if you're using the blade of Paladrio. Yes. Oh, 9. 9. Okay, you do 9 damage to Lost and Reborn number 11. Uh, and he's gone. Yeah. Um, yeah, totally, totally gone. What else we got up here? <clears throat> um, we've got Blossom Reborn number 12 and Jin Fushi, who is currently under the sway of the Slave Blossoms. But she isn't a Slave Blossom, she just has the sickness. She's just like, oh, what pretty flowers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, nothing threatening to me. Like, Not that you can tell. She seems pretty nothing. passive. Okay. She right. is, for mechanical purposes, is considered an ally of okay. the um, of the well, reborn, but is well, not being hostile you. toward you. Okay. So I'm gonna just uh, turn around now and attack the uh, second zombie. Okay. You do so. Um, <laughs> You rolled your wisdom saving throw already, right? What did? Um, I did. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Use so your bonus I'm... action. So this is not the blade of Philadrial. This is your offhand short sword. Yeah, I know. Um, eleven. Eleven. Uh, total. Yes. Uh, that does not hit, unfortunately. <laughs> as it, as okay. Uncharacteristically low. Um, that's correct. Uh, so that one misses. That was your bonus action. Uh, you can move away if you want, or you can stay right there. Um, can I move 
You will provoke if you move away, though. Hmm. Alright, I'll just stare at it. Okay. Err. Uh, <laughs> great. I, look, I look like the Grim Reaper. <laughs> yeah, you do. I'm um, sorry, guys. Yeah, I usually put you guys all in as cultists and then transform you afterward. But as there seems to be a uh, a mod clash, and then there seems to be. A I look like I look like error. somebody that like that could, you know, kill everybody here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I've you been are a death hunt. dealer. That's your ability. Yeah. Remember, I know. Yeah. Well, a whale's from the grave. Or yeah. whispers of the dead. We, yeah. yeah, yeah, you have those cool abilities. The only problem is that they they, they only work when you do sneak attack damage, or at least yep. one of them only works when you do sneak attack. Yeah. Okay, uh, Tamron, it is your turn. Phoenix, you are on deck. Okay. Uh, am I allowed to do a cantrip and then a spell? I don't remember. Um. Yes. So here's yeah. the deal. Uh, as long as the spell only. It, it, Obviously, if you use a action to cast a cantrip and a bonus action to cast a spell, yes, you can do that. Um, cool. Granted, if a cantrip has a bonus action casting time, you can do that as a bonus action and use an action to cast a spell. However, I don't think there's any cantrips that use a bonus action. I understand. Um, I will... Um, do Shocking Grasp on this okay. fella. Okay, great. Go ahead and roll that nastiness. Um, yeah, it leaves a spell attack roll. So. See, melee. Spell attack. And you already made your wisdom saving throw against this. I did. Killer. Yeah. Cool. cool, cool. For this round? Well, he came up on me and I, I made a spell. Uh, yeah. Right, that was last turn. This is the new This is the new round. That wasn't on my turn, though. That was on this guy's turn. Right, last round. Now it's your turn, so you have made Yeah, they have. Yeah, you gotta do another sure. one. They're at that level list. Fuck. Fuck. Fail. What'd you get? Um, bad. Five. Five? You start singing your favorite song. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I was afraid of. Long time passing. <laughs> Sammy, I know that was a good thing for you being a flower, but come on, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> All I want to be is flower. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Um, that's Tamron's turn, unfortunately. I love being a flower. <laughs> Phoenix, you are up. Beep. You're over here, yeah, surrounded by two of these creatures. I don't believe you've rolled your wisdom saving throw yet, so please roll your wisdom saving throw. Oh. Let me do that. What's my computer doing again? Oh, just, just just, roll the die. Just use the physical it, die. Roll the d20. More, it's, it, it's easier if she does the... Okay. Wisdom saving throw. Um, seven. Seven. You also are affected by the slave blossoms, as you're also like, oh, what pretty flowers. And that's your turn. Um, it is now all of the uh, zombies' turns, or the not the zombies, the blossom reborns' turns. We're gonna start from one and move our way down. Uh, we'll just do four and five. Okay. Tamron. Hmm? I'm gonna get attacked here. But um, I'm an ally. Uh, you consider yourself an ally. They just want your body. Uh, that hey. is... Uh, that is only a 12 to hit. Hey, friend. <laughs> Does not hit. Okay. So, and it's not gonna soccer spray you because there's no point. Uh, so it will not move. This one will move. Go. Oh, this is... I don't like this. Natural 20. <laughs> That's a critical hit. Oh, boy. Okay. That's a lot of sixes. Twenty-seven points of bludgeoning damage to you. As this thing whips its vine out at 27 you. Twenty-seven points of bludgeoning damage. Of heaven. Yeah, rolled a natural point. Jesus a critical fuck. Hit. Uh, and it's not going to. 
uh, so spray you with Sakura Petals because it already has. Um, we're going to do the ones now surrounding Phoenix. That's a miss. That's a miss. Uh, she's already spewed, so it's no big deal. Uh, Are you this... still up, Tammy? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Not very much, though. All right, it's going to use its action to dash to get within 10 feet of both Omad and uh, uh, Pebbles. Omad is okay. Pebbles is okay. They rolled amazingly on their wisdom saving throws. Oh, actually, I believe Pebbles is already fucked, isn't he? Why? No, yeah, he, you know, he failed the saving throws. Oh, no, no, that's true. No, You've can... got a natural 20. That's right. You're right, you're right, you're right. That was Omad. That's, right. uh, yeah. And Pebbles was fine before. So both of them are fine. Mm. Okay, this guy's gonna move. Five, ten, 20, 40. Five, ten, 20, 40. Okay. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Five, ten, 20, 40. 40. Got three guys on you now, Tamron. Yeah, it's gonna, we're gonna, it's gonna hurt me. Okay, uh, Nakano, you're gonna get an attack from this guy. That is a twenty to hit. take oh shit damage okay you take nine points of bludgeoning damage please roll a dexterity saving throw oh by the way yes oh. tamron you need to roll a dexterity saving yeah. throw as well and so does phoenix see if you're grappled um, i got a 19 you're fine you're not grappled okay so nine just damn nine 16 you're not grappled at you're not grappled okay. at none of you are grappled okay i need you to roll a con saving throw for me as it sprays you with soccer pellets Nakano. Sixteen. Sixteen. You succeed. You guys are good. Um, that's all of them. There's none left. Okay. <laughs> now, up next, we have Omad Bahadi and Pebbles. Um, Pebbles is going to take two attacks at this guy right here with I did his tell them to, I did tell them to move like towards the stairs too just yeah I mean on, he's going to do that first before he moves yeah, uh, of course because come on Omad is going to use <laughs> Omad is going to first <laughs> actually Omad goes first Omad is going to use his action to disengage and then move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 what's up Right away. Uh, uh, Pebbles is going to make two attacks. There's war fans. That's that's a miss. The first one's a miss is really bad. Uh, hey, come on, Pebbles. Pebbles. Come Natural on, 20 on the second one. Yeah! Woo! Finally. <laughs> <laughs> this is his first hit in the entire campaign. It's fantastic. It's our life. That's that really fantastic. good damage, too. That's 10 points of damage to this thing. As he slices, like, he's just like, then he slices its tendons with the war fans. <laughs> uh, great job to number 14. Okay, so we're back to the top of initiative.